Good morning, good people. I hope all is well with you guys. This is your girl, Saquana. If this is your first time visiting the channel, I welcome you. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on your notifications so you'll know when I drop a new video. So this morning, I am going to Trader Joe's. Um, I follow a lot of people on YouTube and see all these meals that they be cooking uh, from Trader Joe's. So I said, let me go see what I can get, what I like. And so that's what I'm about to do right now this morning. And so I'll take you along with me. All right, let's go. You guys, I really hope that I-20 is not busy because I don't want to be a trap. It should not be. It's only like 9.36 in the morning, but I really hope I don't want to deal with the traffic. That's why I'm leaving early this morning. Sorry, y'all. I'm a little stuffy. It's been a little warm here for winter. And I cut the fed on the other night when I was sleeping because I got hot. And ever since then, my nose has been stuffy and running. So, sorry I sound like this, but hey, deal with it. Okay, you guys, I beat what was going on. Ah! Spreader next to me. Hey, no 18 wheeler trucks. But yeah, so the the road is clear now on this side, other side looking back up. It's like they got one lane open for a while. And then um like they're doing construction and stuff. Like, why would we do this early in the morning? Knowing people are gonna be out and about. Like this should happen at night. But anyway, I know y'all wanna listen to me, man. On the way to Trader Joe's. This area is crowded in the mug. Oh, we did. But we made it to Trader Joe's. I'm gonna buy this to see, can I keep it up? Have some fresh vegetables. So I'm leaving Trader Joe's. I got everything that I wanted. Hope this stuff tastes good. You know, this is not a place I'll be coming to often because I feel like I can spend a lot of money on this stuff. So I'm not gonna be coming here too often. It's a Starbucks across the way, and I do want me a chai latte. So, if I can find me a parking spot, I'm gonna get me a chai latte. If I can't find a parking spot, it's not meant to be. It's crowded out here. So, I'm sitting in Starbucks, so that means I got the parking spot. <laughs> um, so, I'm here waiting on my dream. I got a chai latte, and I added vanilla. So, so you guys I have made it back home for Trader Joe's I'm gonna show you what I got and some Southwest chicken quesadilla some garlic pineapple Some maple chicken breakfast sausage. I have smoked apple chardonnay chicken sausage. Oh, that's really good. Some carrots. Some butternut squash. I got about three of these. Some drop on the floor. Dark chocolate cover all this. Some lemons. So we got like three of these. 
little bit squash. Look. Got the cutest little flowers. Not even bloomed all the way yet. Look like it be watering already. I don't have a green thumb, so we'll see how long that this stay alive. Vanilla granola. And this is what I really went for because I see a lot of people um, buy these dinners and it looks so good. So I'm going to put one later on. I have this is beef broccoli. Um, it says sweet and spicy. So I hope this is really good. I was talking to a lady this store. She said, This chicken fried rice is pretty good. So I got that as well. I want to try this as um, tempura cauliflower. You say you just put it in the air fryer or in the oven until it get crispy. So I hope that's pretty good. I have the barbecue teriyaki chicken. And then the Mandarin Mandarin orange chicken. So I hope these are pretty good because that's kind of what I went for. And then a meat lasagna. So that is my grocery haul for Trader Joe's. Have a little flour, put some water in it. Almost dropped it some of the dirt came out like i said let's see how long that this lasts i don't want to put too much water and i'm gonna set it up here right there I am now hungry. I'm gonna get ready to cook me some lunch. And what I'm gonna cook myself before they go bad, feeling meatless right now. So I'm gonna cook myself some oyster mushrooms. I'm gonna fry them up and put it over some lettuce. So probably like a lettuce wrap or I don't know. You'll see when I get through. how much the mushrooms look tastes so good so I did cut the stems off the mushroom now I'm just going to season them up I got some aquad from Barrett to Medicine seasons her sass season you just put whatever you want and this don't really got no salt taste to it and then I'm gonna add some all purpose seasoning if I can find it. So I'll add a little lemon pepper as well. Not a big lemon pepper person, so just add it a little bit. Since I can't get to my where is it? I can't find it, so I'm just gonna put a little season salt. Smoke paprika to that. Yes, yes. That is a smoke paprika. Mix that all together. So gonna add some Louisiana seasoning.
get that mixed together. Season well. And then I'm going to add some flour. You know what? Add a little hot sauce as well. Then I'll add my flour and I'll add a little cornstarch. And I'm making a mess. Me and this camera. This thing. Got them seasoned and you drop them in your hot oil. You can eat your mushroom just like this. It's so good. So good. I even had these at a restaurant. Like a teriyaki sweet sauce. They had like a dipping like ranch in it. Yo. So good. But like today. I'm just going to make these. Put something together. How about that? Maybe a, a lettuce boat or something. I don't know. So put our lettuce down. And we'll put some mushroom on top. We're gonna do one now. Just in case I don't like it. We're gonna cut up some red onions to go with it. Hope this is good. Decent. We get the good parts out.
this was simple to make. Wish I had like a sauce to go over it. And we put the sauce on top. Just a little bit. Get into it. Get into it. Something quick, simple, healthy. You vegan people will love it. I'm talking about something, you'll love it. Let's try it first. Here's the moment of truth. This is good. Mm -hmm. Hey you guys, I'm back. I have ordered some stuff off Ashley Stewart. I'm trying to think if you remember. But I have ordered some stuff off Ashley Stewart and it came yesterday. So I'm going to show you guys what I bought. These are some pants. Ashley Stewart. Numbers. I can see already I'm not going to like these. These look so thin. I bought me a shirt. And another shirt. And some more pants. These look like see through her too, so I'm not gonna like these either. Sometimes ordering offline sucks. You know, can't try it on right then and there. You don't know how it's gonna fit. Then you waste money for shipping with hand and just have to ship it back. Oh. But anyway. Just gonna Take one of these out the bag just to see. Yeah, I'm taking this back. We know this back. I feel like I have to put something under it. It's cute. Yeah, you can see my hand through there. Y'all try these pants on. Oh, look how big and long they are. Did you see, did you see how big they were? How long? Even with a, a heel, these things would still drag the floor. Yeah, these going right on back. The original price was forty nine fifty. No wonder they was on sale like half off. Nobody buy them because they're too big. You know what? There's an Ashley Stewart in the mall, and I'm gonna take them right on back. Don't have to waste money with shipping. Just take it to the store. That's why I hate all this stuff offline, clothes wise. You never know what you're going to get. But yeah. Let's go on right on back. And I might even want to open up these. Got to feel it the same way. So sitting on right on back. I hope I can wear the shirt. Because I really do like this shirt. And it's just a plain white shirt. Which I need. So hopefully these fit well. Alright. Just want to show y'all that. So here's one of the shirts that I bought. I think it fit nice. So I am keeping this. I like how it fits. 
Here's the white shirt I bought. I don't really like this. So we'll take this back. I don't like the material. And it got two buttons. So this really buttons up in the back, but as you can see, I don't got it buttoned. Yeah. What's up you guys? It is time for dinner. It's a little late. I usually don't cook this late. But I decided to cook the beef and broccoli that I bought today from Trader Joe's. See how this tastes. Already read the directions. It's gonna say put some olive oil in your head. Now the bag did not have onions. I'm just adding this myself because I like onions. It's my deal that I can do what I want. So I got my Trader Joe meal here. Let's taste and see how, it, how does this taste. Got a break. It's not bad. It's sweet. A little, little spice to it. Will I buy this again? I mean, I 
will, you know, when you just keep stuff in the freezer, when you don't feel like going anywhere, and you just pop something out of the freezer to cook, this is something like that. But yeah, I guess it's a little bit too much hype over Trader Joe's, huh? Anywho, yeah. Woo, fresh out the shower, and it felt so good, too. About to relax, lay it down for tonight. See if I can find something on Netflix. And then eventually fall asleep. Thanks for hanging out with me this Saturday. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. And turn on your notifications. So you'll know when I drop a new video. Be blessed.